This is Cedric. At a glance, he's a normal little boy with no impairment. Fifteen minutes with him and you will know that something is different. Cedric was diagnosed with autism at four years old. Autism is a developmental disorder which manifests itself in the first three years of life. It is a disorder that affects the brain's normal development, especially social and communication skills. Symptoms of the defect include restricted and repetitive behavior. The first signs that you will see is a child doesn't make eye contact. Most children will make eye contact, especially with their mother, but an autistic, autistic child does not. Uh, they also do not play imaginatively. So where a two-year-old might pour you tea, an autistic child wouldn't do that. They might take a teapot and bang it. That's not what a teapot is for making tea, it's to make a noise. Um, the other kinds of things we see are what we call stimulating, self-stimulating behaviors, where the child will wave their hand or flap their fingers, and this is their way of getting sensory information into, into their senses, their hands, their eyes, their ears. They hear things differently, they see things differently. While the signs usually begin before a child is three years old, they may sometimes appear while the child is a baby. At eight months, uh, children are supposed to, to at least to, to imitate some gestures and even some names at home. But for him, he, could, he was finding it difficult. Even whenever I would wave bye-bye to him and going to work, sometimes he would not respond. His response was slow. By three years, he was okay. He would walk, he was a normal child, but much as we tried toilet, toilet training, he could not cope up. He would not even feed himself, he would not hold a cup. So what I did, I took him to a normal school. We will often see temper tantrums because they don't know how to fit into our world. They don't know how to communicate with us. They still have needs, feelings but they don't know how to express them. So we'll see a lot of temper tantrums. We'll also see um, a very, a lack of emotion um, where you would expect them to be very happy about something, you won't see happiness exhibited. Where you would expect them to be sad, you won't see sad. I think because autism is absence of social behavior, you know, not really absence, but inappropriate social behavior. So while you'll have eye contact with these other children, this one you'll not. While you'll smile at a child and they smile back, an autistic child may not. While your child will want you to touch them, another child will want you to touch them, an autistic child will not appreciate touching. Autism affects information processing in the brain by altering how nerve cells and their synapses connect and organize. A synapse is a joint that permits a neuron to pass an electrical or chemical signal to another cell. However, how this processing occurs is to debt not well understood. It's a spectrum. So you have a wide range of behaviors that are classified as autistic. Down at the one end, you have the ones who will never be independent, the ones who may never learn to dress themselves or um, use the toilet on their own. Very, very severe be behaviors. And at the other end, you have um, autistic children that will go on to be engineers and physicists. It is a very wide range. Generally accepted, there's a midpoint. Autism is if they don't have any language. Asperger's is if they do have language. So you can have a very low functioning Asperger's, a, a child who learns to speak but doesn't have the social skills. Or you can have a very high functioning autistic, one who is able to read and write and interact, but never develop speech. In rare cases, autism is strongly associated with agents that lead to birth defects. For Cedric though, things have improved since he got proper care. He can now dress, feed, and go to the toilet by himself. We can say a child is autistic, but there is no textbook autistic child. Every child, you will have a condition plus your own behavior, you know, or your own kind of family things that you've inherited, you know, that kind of thing. Just the way there are not two people who are the same. That's the way it is with autistic children. So what may work for one child may not work for the other child. Children with mild autism sometimes can go to regular school. 
However, most kids with autism need calmer and more orderly surroundings. Can it be cured? No. Can a child learn how to function fairly normally? Yes, many of them can. So we can manage the behaviors, we can teach them to function, but they'll always be autistic. Although there is no known cure, some children have been known to recover from the disorder. One thing is that parents need to know that while a child is autistic, everyone understands the language of love. And the children will know when they are rejected, they'll know when they are not taken care of, they'll know that when they are not appreciated. Parents get frustrated because they say, go and do this, oh, pick up that. The child doesn't. And because he's not picking it up, he's still processing, then you say, okay, if you're not picking it up, sit there. And he's still processing, sit there, then say, okay, that's it. You're such, uh, such a bad child, go out. Now he's still processing, go out, and you're saying so many things. So it's very confusing for them. And because of that, then they shut down. And because they can't com you're not communicating appropriately, they cannot communicate to you appropriately, so they throw a tantrum. Unlike some diseases, autism conditions are on the rise in every nation, every racial, ethnic, and social group. Cases of autism have been on the rise for a very long time now. This is the fastest growing developmental disability in the world. Two out of every six children are likely to get autism, with males four times more likely to get the disease. Rosemary Nankabara, NTV. <laughs>